Okay, buddy, ready? Seek rope. Seek rope. Get it, buddy. Seek rope. Come on, seek rope. Hey parents and teachers, welcome back to the Science Factory's YouTube channel. If you haven't joined us before, we post awesome games, fun science experiments, and really cool art projects for you guys to try at home with your kids. I'm your host, Mr. Brian, and recently I've been really fascinated with the way that animals learn words. Hey buddy, come. Come here. Oh, good boy, hello. So I thought it would be fun to uh, see how long it takes Buddy here to learn a new word today. Buddy, you got this, you can do it. Say hi to all the people, they want to see you. You're looking the wrong way. <laughs> Apparently there's something more interesting over here, I'm not sure. Before we get started today, I just wanted to take a quick moment to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We release new videos every Wednesday and Friday, and we'd love to see you more often. My question for you guys today is, what's the smartest thing about your dog? Have they ever done something really intelligent? Let us know your pet story in the comments down below. So, Buddy is a medical alert dog, and so he's had extensive training. And because of that, he knows a lot of words. And that got me thinking, just how many words can a dog learn? Well, according to Stanley Cohen, who's a psychologist, leading canine researcher, and professor with the University of British Columbia, an average dog is about as intelligent as a two to two and a half year old child in terms of their language abilities. Of course, dogs can't speak like a two year old can, but they can understand about as many words. The average dog can learn 165 human words, and super dogs, or dogs in the top 20% of doggy intelligence, can learn about 250 words. So then that got me thinking, what's the record for doggy vocabulary? What's the smartest pooch in the world? It turns out that that honor belongs to a border collie named Chaser. Now, Chaser got a head start because her owner, Pilly, is a research scientist that's now retired. It also doesn't hurt that border collies are one of the smartest dog breeds in the world. The smartest, depending on who you ask. And he started this as a fun project. But it's gone so well now that he's continued to work with Chaser over the years and develop more and more vocabulary. Chaser now knows over a thousand words, and to put that into context, Chaser's only Chaser's only Pilly Chaser's only Pilly Chaser's owner Pilly. <laughs> this is so hard to say. And to put that into context, Pilly, Chaser's owner, now has to write the names of her toys because he can't even remember them all. By the way, Chaser has almost a thousand toys. Pretty lucky dog. Now, what struck me the most about this is that Chaser doesn't just understand nouns and verbs. She also understands prepositions, and she can distinguish between common nouns and proper nouns. So, for example, if Chaser hears the word ball, she knows that that's any round object. But if she had a ball named Mario, then she would know that that specific ball is Mario and none of the other balls are Mario. I don't know about you guys, but I never thought about what parts of speech dogs can understand. Of course, I know that they understand nouns and verbs because they can be taught the names of objects and also of actions like, come here. But I found it really interesting that their capabilities extend past verbs and nouns. In fact, Chaser can also make logical inferences. For example, if you take a pile of Chaser's toys that she knows the names of and you put a new toy in the pile and you give her the name of the new toy, she'll pick out the new one because she already knows the names of all the other toys, so she guesses that this must be what you're talking about. And that's a really impressive feat for a dog to pull off. Pilly is now working on complex sentences with Chaser that have multiple parts. For example, take ball to Frisbee. And if Chaser is able to get that trick down, she'll be the first dog ever to accomplish such a feat. A feat, by the way, which, outside of humans, has only been achieved by dolphins and chimpanzees. It's an elite club. So, how will Buddy fare with this challenge? Will it take him 10 tries to learn a new word, or 100 tries? What do you think? I guess the only way we can know is to give it a try. So as I said before, Buddy's a medical alert dog, and he knows quite a few tricks and words already. Touch. Good buddy, good touch. Buddy, spin. Oh, good boy. Buddy, back. Oh, that's it. Buddy, back. Back. Good boy. Buddy, through. This one's my favorite, buddy yoga. Oh, good boy. 
Now, the fascinating thing to me was during the training process with Buddy here, we really had to learn how to listen to him and he had to learn how to listen to us. And that helped us communicate a lot better because communication between two different species is a little bit more complicated. For example, if I wanted Buddy to get this rope for me and I asked him, hey Buddy, could you get the rope for me? Please? He's got no idea what I'm talking about. But if I use the right command, hey Buddy, seek rope. Get it. Good boy, thank you. Thank you for the rope. This is important because my wife has vestibular issues, which means that sometimes she's not able to walk on her own. And so when Miss Jennifer needs the rope to play with Buddy, she can ask him to go get it, and then she can still play with him even though she can't go get the rope herself. And so today we're gonna to be using this seek command in order to test how long it takes Buddy here to learn a brand new word. So before we try to show you a new word, I thought I'd show you how we taught him how to seek ball and seek rope. Ball, rope, 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 ball, ball. Buddy, seek ball. Get it. Good boy, good seek ball. Let me see. Good boy, buddy, come here. Okay, buddy, ready? Seek rope, seek rope. Get it, buddy, seek rope. Come on, seek rope. Good boy, good buddy. Hey buddy, bone, bone. Ready, get it. Oh, good boy, good get it. Get the bone, Urgh, bone. All right, so now we've got three toys. We've got the ball, the bone, and the rope. We've never taught him the word bone before, so this gives us a good baseline for how long it takes him to learn a new word. Hey buddy. Bone. This is a bone. Buddy, seek bone. Get the bone. Good, buddy. Okay, try number one. <laughs> Good boy. Let's see if he can get it again. Hey, buddy, back. Back. Buddy, seek bone. Buddy, bone. Get it. Get the bone. Buddy, seek bone. Okay, second try. Didn't go so well. He was itchy. Seek bone. Come on, seek bone. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Awesome, good boy. I don't know if it helped that I pointed that time, but we'll try it without pointing next time. That was just kind of an instinct. Buddy, seek bone. Seek bone. Get it. Seek bone. Good boy. Good seek bone. Good boy. Okay, seek bone. Good boy, good buddy. Buddy, you did so good, you're gonna be famous. Oh, good boy. I can't believe how fast Buddy got that word. I thought that it would probably take around five or six times because I remember he learned rope and ball really quickly. But to be fair, we do hold the object up for him and say the name lots of times before we attempt it. If you'd like to test your dog's intelligence at home, there's several other tests that you can do. If you guys are interested in that, please let us know in the comments down below. And if we decide to do future videos about testing doggy intelligence, we'll put the card up here for that playlist. By the way, if you're curious about the intelligence of your dog's breed in particular, according to Professor Corin, the top seven most intelligent dog breeds are Border Collies, Poodles, German Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, Dobermans, Shetland Sheepdogs, and finally, Labrador Retrievers. He also noted that dogs can count up to four or five and have a basic understanding of arithmetic. For example, apparently dogs have been shown to notice errors in simple computations like one plus one equals one, or one plus one equals three. How did I not know this? That is so cool. I really can't believe no one's ever told me that before. That is such a cool fact. Well, thank you guys for watching. This was a really fun video to make and I'm really glad that I got to include Buddy in it. He's wanted to be in the Science Camp videos for quite some time. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and that you'll consider leaving us a like to show the YouTube robots that you're enjoying this content and you'd like to see more of it. You know, it's a dog eat dog world out there on YouTube, so we really appreciate your support. Well, that's all I've got for you guys today. My name is Mr. Brian and I'll see you guys in a future video. How do you stop a dog from barking in your front yard? Put him in the backyard. What do dogs do if they lose their tail? They go to the retail store. What do you call a dog that can do magic tricks? A Labracadabrador.